here and today we're gonna be going over what barch is barch is when you pretty much only use archers and barbarians and depending on what level you are barch can be very effective or very bad depending on what level you're at because if the lower your level the easier the storages are gonna get to because the less defenses they have but then then you have lower troops but yeah it don't really matter so Using a barch, you can go after storages and uh, full mines. Technically, you want to find a place with the storages near the end or edges, and you want to find a place with full mines that are high level, because those tend to have high yields. So let's say if we look at the last few raids, yeah, I don't know what else. No, oh, those <laughs> defenses. If you look at my last few raids. I've been getting a lot of money just by barching, and I've been using my king sometimes. And yeah, I've been using very cheap strategies and I've been getting some dark elixir as well so barch is one of the best things I mainly get barched because my gold storage is my lucky storage are on the outside when I'm mainly protecting my dark elixir which is really prized because I'm gonna get my barbarian king up to level 2 fun stuff so when you're barching you're gonna wanna make sure that you deploy barbarians on the outsides because they're pretty much meat shields most of you can say they take out the surrounding buildings, they can take mortar fire, and once you take out all the surrounding buildings, you use your archers to take out the buildings on the edge of the actual base. So, say you're just gonna put your barbarians down here, use them to take out the town hall, take your barbarians out here, take them out, clear up that whole area, and then you can use your archers to take out the cannons and the wizard towers and the gold and the mortar. But that's why I have this little bar here, helps me keep archers at bay always fun cool stuff so that's the main premise of barch and I'll show you some replays or some live battles of what I do and I mainly barch because I'm at this farming level of silver too so easy stuff so thanks you guys for watching ahead of time and enjoy <laughs> So guys, I'm going to attack this base, and I'll show you how with the barge attacks. So, since we're going for elixir and gold at the moment, we're going to want to simply... We want to use as least troops as possible to be wasted on these outlying buildings. We'll put a barbarian down there. So as you can see, I have... Ah, uh, crap. So we want to preserve as much archers as possible when possible. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is since we're just now focusing on it, you're going to want to double hand it and layer upon archers. And then you're going to want to double hand barbarians on. And they'll act as sorts of meat shields, as you can say. And you can just watch the loot roll end. And since no one's watching this side, just pile some bar archers on. Piling some archers on. Good to go with that. Come back to this side. They're having some trouble with that collector. They're all in right now, so just pulling out some barbarian collectors right there. And then bada bing, bada boom, we're all done. And since we're trying so hard, might as well put our Barb King down. And just hope that he doesn't get targeted. Because <laughs> this has been a pretty good raid, and I have faced our faces. And I know it's a town all six, but free loot is free loot, and what are you going to do about it? Uh, I'm really mad that they're not going after that mortar, except for those two archers, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? Barb King's still going ham. One archer tower is targeting him, but they ain't doing that much damage yet. And my archers have that guy, have that archer tower on key. Killed that. And now it's gonna go to work. Only one structure left, I believe. Ah, oh, no, there's a few structures. There's two structures left. Now there's one, and it's gonna be that builder hut. And, yeah, I'll save Elixir. That was a very profitable raid. I'm very surprised by that. Dang. You don't usually see me surprised by this. So my Barb King's half damaged. It's gonna take a few, a little while to heal up but we're good to go that's 23 trophies and almost 3k gold 300k gold and two almost 200 250k elixir so that filled up 
almost our gold storage and filled up our elixir storage. Which pretty much means we got nothing to do now. And I'm going to say, hey. So that was a bar trade. And I'll come up with a uh, bag raid soon. So stick by and see you there. And we're going to attack this base as always. We're going to put a barbarian down first. Using them as a meat shield to distract the mortars. While putting our archers down in the background. To, first off, take out those outlying buildings. And to collect the gold and elixir. Allowing us to get all the loot. Because we all know we want the loot. So I've taken most of it. And I'm guessing most of it's probably still in his storages. But we still got a good amount of it. You know guys, you know, that's still a good amount. So we're going to get most of his actual gold. Yeah, we have most of his gold. So whatever's left is in his containers or storages. And it's not really worth it. So we're going to go for the one star. Place down some archers. Place down a barbarian. And this is going to be a very, very fast fight. We can get any of these buildings destroyed. Okay, so we only have one building left. And there we go. We're gonna end that, and that's the end of the battle. Got 100k of each, and five trophies. So, we're all good to go with that. Good attack. And, yeah, we're done. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and peace. I just wanted to do a little uh, shout-out to my clan. Where, uh, you know, because this is a nice clan. Everybody's usually on sometimes, except for the leader. He's on, like, every other, like, he's, like, on at nights. But he's a nice, everybody here's nice. Uh, you know, we just do stuff. We're nice people. Some are weird, but we do have some high levels. We do have some low levels. And, yeah, it's pretty much fun. Most people are active, as I said before. And we donate a good amount of stuff. Sometimes, most of the time, you'll find someone donating. So, please join. Help support the Desire Clan. And thank you for watching.